Today we will be reviewing The Journey by CKX. This is out of their men's snowmobile line. This jacket comes in a variety of different colors. Well, it's black with a variety of different accent colors. As you can see, this one's blue here. I do not believe that the accent colors are reflective, but it does have reflective accents on the back here and here for visibility. This jacket comes with 220 grams of insulation in the body and 180 grams of insulation in the sleeves. The neck, the collar comes up pretty tall, but not too tall that would make it uncomfortable. It's lined with a nice soft fleece. The seams or the uh, zippers are all taped to prevent water intrusion. There is a flap here that Velcros. My other jacket has magnets. This has a YKK zipper on it for durability. It also comes with an integrated elastic flap so that uh, wind and snow don't get up inside the coat. There is one interior pocket that is mesh so you can actually see what's in it. The sleeves have a Velcro adjustment and also this spandex uh, sort of sleeve gaiter here that your thumb goes through so that you don't get any snow up inside your gloves or your sleeves. One thing that you should notice about this jacket is that there is not any ventilation underneath the armpits. Uh, this jacket's designed for primarily trail riding uh, so if you were to wear this jacket in the mountain or uh, in any type of conditions where uh, warmer conditions where you might get a little bit sweaty, there is uh, the only ventilation that you would have is to be to unzip the jacket, which could be problematic for some. Uh, this is their, according to CKX, this is their warmest jacket. And uh, it's also a, a medium waterproof which we'll test here in a second. Now we're going to be testing the water repellency of this jacket. Pour a little bit of water right there. Water repellency looks decent. Keep it, uh, let it sit there for a few minutes and see if it soaks in. Be back in a second. water repellency test seem to go pretty well. The jacket does not feel wet at all. I think, I mean, obviously you won't go swimming in it, but it seems to work pretty good as far as the water repellency goes. This, that first test really wasn't up to my standards. So we're gonna put this thing to the ultimate test. See how well it performs under a driving rain or heavy snow that's constantly melting on the jacket. So what we're going to do is take this paper and stick it in the pocket. And see how well this coat performs. As you can see, the durable water repellency seems to work pretty good. It's definitely beating off the surface. We're going to test these pockets out real good and see if the water penetrates the zippers. 
And that's about right where the chest pocket is. You'll see if any of the water makes it through. Obviously, you probably won't be riding in rain this heavy, but you may. So that is what I would consider to be a pretty decent water repellency test. I dried the jacket off just a little bit, and really, I don't see any water at all, which is pretty amazing. I think water on this paper would show up. Yeah, it would show up pretty well. I don't see any water at all. So I'd feel confident, as long as you had everything tied up here, I'd feel confident wearing this in very wet conditions. But as we said earlier, let's check this pocket. As we said earlier, this coat doesn't have a lot of venting. So if you get wet from the inside, I don't think it's gonna dry out too quickly. Whereas the climb does have armpit and other venting options. If you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.